Jesse, thanks for taking the time. I know uh, you win this first section game, that's meaningful, but we yeah. mentioned all throughout, your team got off to a good start last year in the section. Penn yep. Trafford didn't, and in the end, it didn't mean anything. So yep. I know you're going to appreciate this one, but it's a long road. But what positives can you take from tonight? I think the resiliency we had. I mean, you know, in the first quarter and the third quarter, we both uh, we made runs to get up early. And then, obviously, they're a great team. They made runs of their own, the way basketball goes. And, and you know, in the third quarter, they cut it to four. You know, we started getting into foul trouble. Things started slowing down a little bit. Could have very easily kind of gave in and let them take over the game. But we were very resilient, had great veteran presence by our guys out there. And, you know, we were able to extend our lead back out and, and never look back there late. A couple things that really stood out that we mentioned all throughout. You forced turnovers and quickly yep. turned them into transition points. And yep. it seemed like your team had seven, eight, and ones, and yep. you finished many of them. Yep. Uh, what do you attribute those two things to? It's, it's the it's the effort and it's the desire to want to defend. Uh, I mean, that's where it's all going to start for us. We get stops, we get out in transition, and that's where we're at our best. You know, we can be really dangerous with all the weapons that we have getting out in transition. So, you know, we're preaching on this end of the floor, get stops, get steals, get rebounds. Once we get the ball, then we're out and we go. But the first thing first, we gotta, we got to get stops on this end. And in the first half, we weren't really getting stops the way we needed to. And that's why, you know, we weren't getting out in transition a ton. Our offense was a little stagnant. They were getting easy ones, easy looks from three, easy looks at the rim. You know, they're a great team, so it's really hard to defend them well, but we were able to get a good enough stretch there late in the game to kind of pull away. Talking to Jesse Reed, head coach of Franklin Regional after tonight's 69-51 victory. I talked to one of my friends who actually broadcast your loss against Butler. You're only set back, and he said in that game, I think only your starters scored. You got nothing yeah. off the bench. Yeah. So my question was, if you had someone in foul trouble, what would happen? You had a couple guys that were key components in foul trouble, and yep. it seemed like your team didn't miss a beat. How did that happen? Yeah, we had some great guys step up off the bench. I mean, uh, Josh Hudak, Drew Davola, those guys came in and gave us great minutes, gave us great energy, really controlled the glass well for us. Jack Spagnol gave us, gave us good minutes. Anthony Mitchell got his real first varsity action time here as a freshman. I thought he came in and gave us good minutes there in the second. Um, so those guys coming off the bench, you know, they, they didn't allow a drop off to happen when they came in. They only elevated our uh, our effort, our intensity level. So, you know, whenever you have guys in foul trouble, next guy got to step up and those guys were prepared. So I was really proud to see that. The rough finish the last year in large part was because you had some key guys out due to yep. injury. But was there a, a confidence throughout the offseason knowing that if we had been healthy, we mm -hmm. could have potentially made that run? And now that we are healthy, we will make that run? Absolutely. I mean, knock on wood first. You know, health <laughs> health is relative game to game day to day. So we got to try and, you know, make sure we maintain that the best we can. But, yeah, I mean, we have full confidence in our locker room that we can compete with anybody in 5A. And we felt that last year as well. Caught some unlucky breaks with guys going down. Um, but it gave guys good uh, good reps, good game reps. Uh, for guys that may not have gotten as many last year. And throughout the summer, you know, we, we had great team chemistry working together and had a full summer together. And now, you know, guys are playing with confidence. We have a bunch of guys that have played a lot of varsity minutes. So it's good to see. So, you know, hoping to continue to get better. You know, we're far from finished product, but going to keep working day by day. And hopefully we can uh, try to peak at the right time. Well, the next one's not going to be easy either. Nope. You play at Kiski, right? Yep. That's a team that I think, much like your team, has surprised a lot of people with how good yeah. They have been. What's going to be the biggest challenge playing against the Cavaliers? Uh, I mean, you gotta you got to set the tone with the intensity level because they're going to come out and do it. Coach Corey is a, is a great coach there. He gets those dudes playing hard. They got skill. They got talent. And, but on top of all that, they play their butts off. And that's what wins you games is, is making all those little winning plays. And we have to make more of those winning plays than they do. So we have to set the tone from the jump. We can't allow them to dictate how we play, how we move, what pace we play at. We have to try and go set the tone. But it's going to be tough. I mean, it's a tough environment. They're a great team. He's a great coach. Coach, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Well, uh, go enjoy this one for the time being. Congrats Absolutely. on the victory tonight. Appreciate Jesse you. Reed, head coach thank you, of thank Franklin you. Regional.